Okay, what's up folks? Uh, Server Good Beats 2015 in the fall. One thing I did this summer is revamp my studio. I uh, got a new computer, Mac Mini, which is working out pretty nice. Migrating, you know, software, plugins, VSTs, all that to a new computer and is a pain in the butt. Especially some of them, you don't remember how you got them. So anyway, I did that. But one thing that I was, that's why I want to put together this quick little video is I was, um, you know, uh, dealing with the issue of one monitor or two, and I couldn't really decide. Um, I start off by going to the store and buying um, one big 27-inch monitor, and so, you know, typically I would be rocking a beat, right? And if I wanted to, you know, go into machine and start messing around with the drum beat, um, you know, it would cover up, obviously, I'm not sure what's up with that. It would cover up Ableton. And, and so, you know, machine and Ableton, you know, I use them like a hand in glove pretty much all the time. So I thought that was really annoying. And so, um, and, you know, when I wanted to do some drag and drop, sometimes that would kind of get in the way. And, and overall, I just felt like I needed more real estate. And so, um, you know, I got the larger one. I tried it out. It seemed like it didn't work like I wanted to. So then I ended up getting two. I went back and got two 22 inches. I'll show them to you real quick up here. So basically, um, uh, this is the setup now. I got them two. I got a rack for like 40 bucks online, which works really well. Um, and now, what I, you know, if I want to use Ableton, I'm mean, sorry, a machine, I just migrate it to this screen. And then I could, you know, I could rock the beat. And I can make changes in machine and and also if they're affecting the mix over in Ableton, you know, I don't necessarily have to, you know, close the window or move it. And it makes the the um, process a little bit better for me. One thing that is kind of a drag is now, you know, when I do the export audio, um, click the export audio button in or MIDI in, uh, in machine. I have to you know, kind of like um, when you got to hold it down for a little bit. And I had to kind of drag it now all the way over here to, you know, to um, to uh, Ableton. Um, but, you know, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, and I think just having the, the extra uh, real estate over here in, in terms of machine definitely makes it worthwhile. So uh, anyway, I didn't see anything on YouTube that talked about this specific issue. I know there's a lot of guys that use Ableton and machine together. Um, and so I wanted to hopefully you know share a little bit of information that i had and um, hopefully it'll help you out too